so welcome everybody. Um, welcome to the newbie class of uh, mediumship and this is just basically a um, demonstration of what so you know exactly what I do and how this all works. Um, every medium is different, every intuitive, psychic, whatever you want to call it. Um, they have different styles and so I'm just going to share with you um, my style. So. Um, a lot of times when people come in for their first reading um, and so forth, and especially all the times in the beginning, there's such a desperation and need and wanting and desire to connect with their loved one. And I totally understand this, and I would be honestly in the same position that you're in. Um, when this happens, a lot of times what I usually say is really prepare yourself before you go into the reading. Um, sometimes emotions, especially when they're so um, intense, it actually dulls the reading. So I won't be able to hear as much or I won't be able to communicate as much to you because they're gentle on the other side. They, if, you're, if you're so emotional about something, it's almost like emotions cloud, which is very peculiar, you know, but emotions cloud the reading. And you won't be able, to, it's just kind of like when you get really emotional about with somebody in your real life, you know, in, on earth. And how you miss a lot of the communication, the communication gets messed up. It's the same thing. So, um, it just basically becomes too intense and they'll be pulling their energy back. And so that when I usually say, oh, they're pulling their energy back, it's not that they're leaving you or anything like that. It's just that... It's just too intense for me, for you, for them, for everybody. So, and the other thing is, is that they usually come in of where, especially if you're wanting to hear from like a mom or dad or somebody very close to you, they're going to be coming in. They're usually the speaker of it, but they'll be coming in towards the um, end of the reading. Usually when you're less likely, when you've calmed down, when it's less scary and all that kind of stuff. So just be aware of that, of that um, I know you can't like control that your desire and that's okay but just um, usually what I tell most people is do a prayer beforehand and just even a good cry you know of wanting to connect with them and so forth because they're there they're always here you know there's no it's it's your choice it's your will you always have free will and um, it's up to you of when you want to invite them in or not Okay, and other things that um, that I would like to talk about that might help you ease you into uh, this whole process of mediumship or uh, being a client. Um, some people come in with the feeling that they need some, they need me to prove something to them. Um, they need uh, certain questions answered, um, just stuff like that, and. I don't do that type of work. Um, basically, that um, it basically devalues what I do. Um, what I do is I listen. And so, if you need validation, um, specific validation, or you need uh, validation to s feel if this is real or not real, I totally understand. I completely understand, actually. But um, I'm not the person to go to for that. Um, I'm only a as good as what I can listen to. So, you know, it's just like I don't think that I'm just some superb you know listener or whatever I just to me every single client is practice and it's not practice to get to a goal it's just practice of listening and that's also your job so it's your you might be thinking oh this is a reading for me to get a whole bunch of information it's really not it's your job is is to listen just as my job is to listen so um, it doesn't mean that you have a million questions and I could try to answer them the best I possibly can through what your loved ones are saying but you have to also understand that the information that I get is not literal it's not like you know what are the lottery numbers I have no idea if if so if they answered that way I'd be asking that so I'd like to win the lottery too so you know I'm just as human as you are so when people ask me specific questions you know it's really hard because I know where they're coming from and they're trying to get validation 
but that's not what I do and this isn't that's not what this is about the validation comes from your aha moments and those aha moments are the place hi Raymond a place of letting go okay so um, you have to have a, you have to have your own trust inside of you before you do this and um, and basically like I said in the beginning not need anything when you, as soon as you as soon as the self starts needing it's what's happening is you're doubting okay so you're doubting um, the truth you're, da you're doubting what's being said and I know this is a very personal process for most of you as for me um, I take it with great honor that you would allow me into your family and share personal stuff. Um, I, I just, I, that's very sacred to me, so I don't take that lightly. But um, when you come, if you come in needing it to be a certain way or needing this to be validated or needing them to say certain stuff or needing to know, da 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 da, you know, I probably won't be able to give that to you. But I also wanted to, um, share with you a tiny bit about they come in this process is where they come in telling me things okay so or telling me things to share with you so it's not about you know asking all these questions and so forth because it's just kind of like like a lot of people do that they immediately start off being like I want to know this 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 and it's just kind of like oh my goodness like I can't answer your questions because right now they're speaking to me. It's like they're they're at the mic and we're the audience. Okay, so act like it like that. So you're basically sitting in the audience allowing this play to happen. You don't jump up and be like, oh, I didn't disagree or what do you mean by da 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 or whatever. So that's why a lot of times that's why I do it through instant chat. <laughs> Mainly not to be rude or anything, but it gives me the opportunity to not have to entertain all your questions and all your stuff and your basically all your left brain stuff because right now I can't I can't do both I can't listen to what they're saying and deliver the information and also have to answer your questions I can, my brain can't switch like that constantly so and it's a lot of work for me to sit there and have to completely disengage my left side of my brain so my right brain can open and listen. And that's, it's just a very difficult process. It's not something that I just go around and I could hear, you know, spirits or loved ones who passed and just like, oh, la, la, la. it sometimes happens like that, but it's not, I just, it, for me, it's very sacred, okay? So um, all I could say is you write down questions that you have, but if they're questions about validation, I'm not the person for this. So maybe you could uh, get the validation elsewhere, or even with you uh, personally. So that the third step, the third thing that I could uh, really talk about is that um, how you can have the best reading possible. Woo, Moosey's pulling down. Um, the best reading that you could have possible is that you have faith, and not faith in me, but faith in yourself and faith in your loved ones and knowing that um, that they're here and that they're they're everywhere wherever you are wherever you choose to communicate that's where they are it's not when people pass from my experience and this is only from my experience is that when people pass we leave our body okay so there's not and we leave time that we think that this world and how we live is all based on time and it is you know from our perspective but when you leave the body and you leave time, what happens is, is that there's, a, there's, there's different planes of existence. This is from what I've gathered from the readings that I've done, is that there's different planes, planes of existence, and there's no such thing as time. So a lot of times people will be very adamant on, um, let's say, staying in a certain house because this is where their loved one was or they have to have certain objects of this is where their loved ones or they can't throw away clothes or stuff like that and that's all the process that's all the process of grieving and it's perfectly okay however your process is but what I want to let you know is that the information that they share with me is that they're everywhere and it's not literal it's not like they're sitting in your bathtub with you <laughs> you know it's just it's a thought 
okay? So what happens is the same way I communicate with them, I'm communicating through thoughts and through feelings. It's, it's on that level. So someone might, for instance, I just got this thing that blew me away just a couple of minutes ago about where uh, somebody uh, just signed up for a reading and there, I walked down the stairs and there was all of a sudden this dog in my window and it just takes my breath away and I know that this dog has something to do with that person. I've never seen this dog before and so it's like that. It's like you can see them in a manifestation of a physical presence, okay? But it's not literal. It's not, it's, it's like air. It's like, um, they're just everywhere anytime that you want them. And that's why I always go back to free will. It's your choice. It's your choice if you want to go and connect with them. Um, it's just by a thought of basically, I, you know, um, I surrender my, I usually say I surrender my will to God. You know, for me, I, I believe in God, not the traditional God of how most people believe it, but I believe, for me personally, God is source energy, and it's, it's everything. It's you, it's me, it's, it's everything. And so um, sometimes I see uh, spirits, I don't really like that word too much, but I see spirits, because um, there's so many bad connotations to it, um, I see loved ones, I'll call them. I see loved ones and beings, um, sometimes in physical form and sometimes not. And like I said, it's just whenever you want them, if you want your um, loved one to come through, all you have to do is think it. All you have to do is communicate. You could say it in your mind. You could say it through your voice out loud. You could say it however you want, and they're there. It's, it's just through thought. This is how um, we are evolving recognizing it's just that everything is through thought so when you communicate um, hey uh, somebody calls on the phone oh my gosh I didn't I was just thinking about you that's exactly the same process okay so um, it's through love and it's through uh, thought and that's how communication the best advice that I could possibly give for any newbie and especially towards my readings you know um, is that just relax as much as possible and just allow your left side of your brain to take a break. Um, as soon as you allow that and stop needing it to be uh, verified, justified, um, all that kind of stuff, you allow the space for all the information that they need to share with you to come through. And um, that's what we're here to do is we're here to listen and um, not, you know, get the numbers for the lottery, even though I wish that would be great, but that's not how they work. They, at least for me, is that they, all they do is they come through with information. Sometimes it's the silliest information, but that information is verification. That's the verification that you're gonna get for you. And that's, um, as soon as you drop your agenda, um, it's amazing of what miracles happen. And they will, will happen personally for you. And I will have no idea what's going on. <laughs> you know, and it's usually at the end of the reading. And if you read a lot of the testimonials that people always say that of where not till the end did they see the whole circle of it coming together. And you really get the feeling that um, they did come through. And that it's real and that there's no weird stuff going on. It's just you will get that validation, but you have to let go. So that's probably the best advice that I can many blessings and I'm so grateful to uh, be here for you. Have a great day.